Hey everyone, it's AJ Arrows here, and I wanted to go over the Minotaur 5 hack. It's pretty much the engineering mode through the depot at Motorola. So, let's say you have your Minotaur 5 pager, and you have a programming cable, whether it is Motorola or Chinese, American, whatever you want to call it. So to put it in programming mode, you will change the channel selector knob to channel C. You will hold in the side button, like so, and you will turn it on. Okay. Usually that would beep. Uh, the battery is dead right now, if I recall. It will do it loud, the continuous beep. You'll put it inside the cradle, then you will come over here to the Minotaur 5 PPS, which needs modified. I have included a link in the description as to where you can modify it at, and what tools you need. It's actually pretty easy. So, inside of the Minotaur 5 PPS, you will need to read the pager and save it. Um, saving the code plug allows you to edit it um, at a later time. So I have a... Actually I have a code plug that has been uh, saved. So once you save it and load it, you'll press S. And when you press S on your keyboard, S is in here, you will be prompted. Whoops, sorry about that. You will be prompted actually with this. This is the falsing alert adjustment. Now, the Mander 5s actually have a huge issue with false alerts. What false alerts is. Um, if there's a tone split nearby, or even these just being sensitive with the squelch, it'll actually trigger, and you'll hear the, you'll hear your tone if it's the beep beep beep, if it's the beep, and what happens is there's no dispatcher on the other end; it just goes to static and it stays like that. So with this, is you can change it to level one. What if you're in a, like a city and the tones are so close together? You can also change it to a level two. Pretty much what that does is it brings up the sensitivity to where it's not as sensitive but it will still alert. Uh, it's advised that you use level 1 before you use level 2. Then also you have the engineer login which is located in the operation. The password is Taipei with the capital T and once you pull up the engineer data, you will, let's see if I can, yeah, here we go. With the engineer data, there is a wide range as to what you can do with it. You can change, now it's on advised because sometimes it does not work, but you can actually take uh, any pager into any band. So this is, this pager is a VHF 151 to 159 by 1 and 2, and this doesn't actually work. I tested this. I can change it to anything I want. So I'm going to throw this back to what it was. I did take this out of band to 159 to 167, and it worked. It worked fine. Uh, you can also change the modulation from non stored voice to stored voice. However, if you don't have the button, and you don't have the components inside, it won't work. You can also change the number of frequencies. On any pager, if it's a 1 frequency, you can easily change it to a 2 frequency. You can also change uh, the build year and all that. I don't advise it that for you to do that. And you can hit the advance menu, and if you hit the advance, 
this will pop up. Let me enlarge in it for you. Oops. This is the advanced menu. Pretty much these are the default settings. And unless you're a tech from I wouldn't suggest you to change any of this. Mainly for the simple fact is you can completely mess up and break the pager.